Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about Welsh Corgi Pembroke with Sissy and her corgis, so enjoy! channel i'm so happy that you could join me today so let's start off with a bit of an introduction of you who are you how old are you what dogs do you have but my name is cecilia or cc and i'm 26 but i think i will be 27 <laughs> uh, in a month yes um and i live in the south of sweden in the region called the kula bigden and i live with my partner isaac and our son alve who is currently sleeping outside the window. So we live together with our two corgis, Zelda and Louis. And together with them, I run one of Sweden's biggest uh, dog-related uh, YouTube channels called Lilla Dad. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's the backstory of the breed? Could you maybe tell me something about the corgi? Yeah, we can start with the fact that there are two uh, breeds that are both called corgi. So one is the cardigan Welsh corgi, and ours then is the Pembroke Watch Corgi. And uh, I mainly have uh, knowledge about Pembrokes. <laughs> um, but the Corgis are from Wales, UK, and they have lots of similarities to the Swedish Ballhund, Vestiota uh, Spetsen. <laughs> and there are some discussions about who came first or who brought the breed to whom. <laughs> um, was it the Vikings who brought the Ballhund to Wales? Uh, which then became the corgi, or was it maybe the other way around? <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> no one knows, okay. It's in general a very healthy breed, uh, with, which was uh, one of the things that I really searched for when I um, decided for the breed. Mm -hmm. But there are some individuals that show signs of health problems, of course. Um, and nowadays there are often discussions about hip dysplasia. And um, you can see that among the Pembrokes that... Um, have results from x-ray most of them have got c or d but they rarely show any signs uh, or pain or problems mm -hmm. from it so mm -hmm. it's a very hot debate <laughs> how long do they tend to live for i think the general pembroke lives for 13 to 15 years without any specific health problems <laughs> that's quite long actually when you compare it to some other yeah. breeds okay so you talked about the health test a little bit. So when you're a potential buyer, is there something specific more that you should look into? Or is it just hips and eyes? I'm digging further here. Uh, but I must say, I uh, I have a dream to become a Pembroke breeder. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully it will be with my youngest one, Louis, uh, as the start of our kennel. <laughs> uh, so I can only tell you how I will prepare her for potentially becoming part of my breeding um, and these are all my personal opinions so <laughs> I want her to be kind and gentle. Uh, my older Pembroke Zelda can get upset around other dogs if there are treats involved for example um, and this is not a behavior that I would like to bring forward in the breed so I'm grateful that my younger uh, is more calm and gentle about this <laughs> And I will, as I said before, scan her hips and eyes according to the recommendation from the Corgi Club. Um, do a behavior test, BPH in Swedish, mm -hmm. um, because I would say that she's a bit nervous uh, when it comes to new environments and new things. Mm -hmm. um, so I might try to match her with a male that is more stable when it comes to this other things you can see in a behavior tests. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, should the dogs that are used in breeding be a good representation of the breed mm -hmm. uh, on the outside as well. Mm -hmm. So this means that she should have a result from dog shows and it should be at least very good. Yeah, that is also a recommendation from the Corgi Club. And I also remember, it was a couple of years ago, um, I met a lot of Corgis in different environments and I thought that it was extra important for a Corgi to have a good coat. Mm -hmm. Uh, and to be able to work outside the whole season, mm -hmm. uh, in every season, <laughs> uh, every weather, and not to get hot spots or allergies or anything. And I would say these kind of things could show when the dog is around three years old. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, the dogs in breeding should not be too young. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And that was a long answer, <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> but I think I can uh, list them. Yeah. Um, suitable temperament, mm. but of course that depends on what you want to do with your dog. Mm -hmm. um, hip x-ray, eye scanning, EPH or any behavioral tests and uh, not too young. Yeah. Well, what then got you into this breed and why did you particularly want to get a corgi? Um, <laughs> I wanted a dog, <laughs> but uh, my boyfriend is like, he wanted a corgi. <laughs> so we got a corgi. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't really like that, but uh, I wanted a dog that um, would come along and try new things with me. Mm -hmm. Because uh, um, we've had dogs during my whole life, but I've never had a dog for my own. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wanted to try everything. I found out that the Pembroke has a lot of what is called uh, will to please mm -hmm. and eager to learn. Mm -hmm. And that suited me. Yeah. Um, so with my corgis, I've tried so many different dog sports and activities. Yeah, uh, yeah and also um, I used to work at a vet clinic mm -hmm. uh, where I... I would say on a daily basis, saw all the dogs with the different illnesses and problems, mm -hmm. uh, which really made me look for a healthy breed. Yeah. All right. And when did you get Zelda, your first one? She turned five recently. So five years ago. Okay. <laughs> and I think it was uh, uh, Easter when we got her. Uh, do you compete or train in any dog sport? And if so, what dog sports would you say that suit the breed? Well, um... I believe that a Pembroke can do anything, <laughs> uh, but they might not be the best in every sport. Yeah. <laughs> um, and as I said, we tried many dog sports. Uh, I think it's rally obedience, freestyle, agility, nose work, tracking, parkour, <laughs> and dog shows. Yeah, there are lots of it and we tried everything. <laughs> um, but then when it comes to freestyle, for example, uh, Zelda is awesome and she loves it and uh, well we've competed a lot and she's really awesome but she's not as fast as the Border Collies in her movements mm -hmm. and um, I guess it would be the same if we were to compete in agility. Mm -hmm. uh, Corgis can be fast but mm -hmm. maybe not always that fast mm -hmm. so I would not say it's the perfect breed if you want to be the best mm -hmm. but it's a perfect breed if you want to be able to do lots of things and to be good at it. Yeah. That might not be super selling <laughs> as an advertisement for the breed, yeah. but uh, it suits me and our life. Mm -hmm. And I also want to be honest mm -hmm. um, to the ones thinking of getting a corgi. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, if you are aiming for elite level top everything, don't get a corgi. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're... Your goal is to have fun and to try new things together. Mm. Do get a corgi. Mm, cool. All right. So, how is it in general owning a corgi? Uh, I would say fun mm -hmm. and uh, cozy and lots of hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine are real cuddle bugs, mm. um, but they do shed a lot. Mm. And I, I have a new shirt on, but I see it's already full of hair. So. <laughs> <laughs> the, how many hours per day would you see, say that you need to put on the dog? Well, I think this is difficult and maybe it's easier to talk in weeks rather than days because um, they can stay pleased on the sofa for a couple of days if I get ill per se. Um, but then <laughs> they will start to activate themselves <laughs> by shooting and stuff or barking in the garden, yeah. especially Luvis, <laughs> or chasing the cats, also Luvis. <laughs> um, so I would say... A normal week, we um, we have uh, walks during the days for about one to two hours mm -hmm. and uh, longer on the weekends. And they they also need lots of mental training. Um, so I think maybe every second day I try to do some mental training mm -hmm. and then we do lots of tricks or um, yeah, that could be just for two minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Um, but just so they got, get something done. Yeah. And uh, we do a lot of nose work every day where they get to... Um, search for treats in the garden and uh, then at least once a week we try to get a full training session done it's uh could be agility or rally obedience or freestyle mm -hmm. and that is about an hour i would say 
But to be honest, uh, they would not be pleased if they got four hours the walk of day mm-hmm. if they were then left behind. Yeah. Um, they want to be with me mm-hmm. and they want to be with us, part of our family and our pack. Yeah. And um, by this, I mean, I can't. Ju- you can't just say that I put one hour a day on my dog because uh, they're always under the table by my feet or the sofa by my side or in the bathroom while I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or yeah in the bed probably sleep so yeah. they're always with us mm-hmm. owning a dog is a full-time thing it is it, how are they like in general in everyday life situations and what does an average day look like for you apart for the things that we just mm-hmm. talked about um they're very punctual <laughs> especially with Zelda okay. and she knows when it's time for walks and food and coffee and sleep mm-hmm. And uh, it's like she wants to follow follow a certain pattern during mm-hmm. the day. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I forget something, let's say that I'm 30 minutes late with their dinner, mm-hmm. she will tell me so. <laughs> Average day, like, how does that look like? You wake up, you take a walk, or is it like that? Yeah, they, um, they have a little round in the garden and then make a breakfast. And uh, then we... Bre- I think it's uh, around nine or ten we have a walk okay. um, and I try to let them walk off leash mm-hmm. as much as possible. <laughs> I think we'll talk more about this uh, later in the <laughs> next question but um, yeah and then um, they mainly sleep during a couple of hours and then when uh, Isaac is uh, off work mm-hmm. we will have another walk and then it's mo- more um, like for exercise. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then they're with us again during the evening. We're having dinner, yeah. and then um, 7 p.m. <laughs> Stella knows it's time for sleep, so <laughs> she's up in my, our bed. <laughs> and so what would you say are some of the worst attributes of the breed? Are there any downsides? Yeah, um, as I said before, there is some resource defense or resource uh, guarding. Mm-hmm. Um, in the breed and I've seen it with more corgis than just Zelda. It was when I got Zelda I kind of surprised mm-hmm. that she had so much of this mm-hmm. and I talked to a lot of breeders. Yeah, because I thought I've done lots of research yeah. on the breed, but I hadn't seen it anywhere. Mm-hmm. Um but then when I talked to different breeders, they all said like, yeah, mine got it too. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's uh, like a common problem. Mm-hmm. Lots of breeders knows about it, but they Mm, yeah maybe don't show it that yeah. much but however a corgi should be tough mm. and rough to be able to handle cattle which mm. is their main focus um but i think it's sad when it shows in a behavior like this yeah so, uh, and uh due to um herding behaviors mm-hmm. the corgi might also herd children <laughs> so or other dogs or the cats um and my girls will also chase hare or rabbits or, mm. yeah. Uh, so that's what I said when I tried to have them walking off leash. Mm-hmm. Well, not today, not yesterday, <laughs> since uh, the hares or the rabbits are, um, <clears throat> yeah, right now they're trying to make more <laughs> out there. <laughs> so out in the field. So uh, it's a difficult time having a corgi right now. <laughs> I see. Uh, but I see some corgis um, that have managed both of these problems in a good way mm-hmm. uh, with lots of training. So hopefully there is a way to get rid of this. But okay. that is definitely some of the downsides with a corgi. Okay. And what are some challenges in training and owning them? Do they bark a lot or scream? Or... Mm, Louis will bark a lot. <laughs> um, but with Zelda... Um, I need to find the right motivation. Mm -hmm. Um, But actually that was more difficult when she was like smaller or younger. Mm -hmm. Um, Louis will do anything for a treat. Mm -hmm. Uh, And some people say that corgis get easily bored, Mm -hmm. but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But they do want to try or do new things. Mm -hmm. Um, So they might not uh, do like a super long, um, I don't know, yeah, just training one trick. Mm -hmm. They want to do like different different types of trick if we have a training session. Okay. And uh, they do bark a lot, or um, at least Lubis does. Mm. 
Zelda will park if we have a visitor mm -hmm. or if she wants to come inside. <laughs> she's more, it's more like she speaks. Yeah. She can stand yeah. on the stairs and say, yeah, let me in. <laughs> so <laughs> I need to uh, know what she wants and then she will stop barking. Okay. Uh, but Lewis can bark at anything, mm. uh, a rock or a bird <laughs> or a car or um, the wind. Okay. Uh, someone walking in an odd way. Uh, yeah, you name it, she will bark at anything. Okay. And I also think that one challenge might be like, well, it was a challenge for me, at least during my first years with Zelda. Um, as I said, I had contact with lots of breeders, but I had a hard time accepting <laughs> that a corgi or my corgi, that she wasn't as cute and easy yeah. that, as, that I first thought she would be. Mm -hmm. um, maybe due to all the fun corgi videos online mm -hmm. so um but maybe that's also owning a dog in general yeah. like it's not always easy and uh, cozy play dates in the park yeah. and um i think it's okay and i think i've finally accepted that it's okay if my dog does not like your dogs yeah um even though it might be a challenge for us to accept it yeah it's a good answer uh would you say there are any breed misconceptions <laughs> well, as I just said, yeah. uh, some people, including myself, yeah. <laughs> uh, watch videos of um, funny corgis online mm -hmm. and believe that every corgi is uh, easy, cozy couch potato. Mm -hmm. um, they, are, they are active dogs and they need the physical exercise as well as mental stimulation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they tend to be rather tough mm -hmm. and rough. Mm -hmm. And are there any five words that you would use to describe this breed? Um, I would definitely say smart, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but also understanding mm -hmm. in a way. As I said, Zelda can speak, or at least I, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Um, and very happy and cozy, but also caring in a way that I, I didn't think was possible for a dog, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, like... If I'm like the smallest amount of sad or stressed, they will feel it and uh, Zelda will come and <laughs> like, lay on top of me and she won't leave me until I'm happy again. So yeah, it was the smart, understanding, happy, cozy and caring. Okay. Would you recommend getting a Corgi? Would you recommend it for a first time owner? Mm, I don't know. To be honest, um, maybe a Luvis yeah. is um, for the general first-time owner, mm -hmm. but a Zelda yeah. is uh, definitely not. She's more like for someone with experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess it depends on the individual. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Are there any specific like breed-specific traits? Yeah, well, we've been through a lot of breed-specific behaviors, mm -hmm. but we haven't talked that much about looks. Yeah. And um, there are some specific. Um, the Pembroke Watch Corgi, for example, can have a bob tail, mm -hmm. which means that they are born with a very short tail, tail but in various lengths. Mm -hmm. So Zelda, for example, has a bob tail, but it's a bit longer mm -hmm. than the shortest one of the breed. Mm -hmm. uh, and Louis, uh, she has a long tail. And they both have siblings uh, with with bob tails and siblings with long tails. Uh, and I also must say in Sweden, it's illegal to cut the tail. So mm -hmm. the corgi should be born with the bob tail. Okay. Um, and another breed specific is of course the short legs, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, which are said to be that short so that the cow should not be able to kick the corgi in the head. Mm -hmm. But I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> Okay. Different colors can they come in, and do you have a specific preference? Well, they, the Pembroke can come in two main colors, and which is red as Louis or tricolor as Zella. And uh, the red may also come as uh, sable with the darker shading on the head and back. Um, and the tricolor can come in two variants, or mm -hmm. yeah, which are um, the redhead as Zelda or the blackhead. And then I must say that I sometimes see breeders who breed blue Merle Pembrokes, mm -hmm. um, but that does not exist. And that is a mixed breed. It's often uh, a mix between a cardigan and a Pembroke, since mm -hmm. the cardigan can come as a blue Merle. Mm -hmm. But that is a mixed breed. 
have a preference. Yes. Um, no, I don't think so. I think they're pretty as they are. <laughs> okay. Are there any negative aspects of owning a corgi? Did you ever get some comments from people or something like that? Well, I think we've been through most of my thoughts, but um, I've been having a hard time with the resource defense and the rabbit chasing. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, it's a lovely breed and people tend to get lots of them. <laughs> And do you breed corgis? Um, well, yeah, hopefully in the future, uh, in the near future. <laughs> uh, would you sell a puppy to anyone when you breed in the future? Or do you have some criteria for your puppy buyers? Uh, well, I haven't really decided. As I said before, I think it will depend on the individual and then also the match I make mm -hmm. and then um, how the dogs in my potential breeding, how they are. Mm -hmm. um, are they training dogs or are they co couch potatoes? <laughs> um, will the puppies be training dogs or something else? Mm -hmm. um, but I think I would like to sell a puppy from Louvis mm -hmm. to someone who is interested in dog shows. Mm -hmm. Since I think she's so darn pretty. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> her looks would be nice to show in the breed. Mm -hmm. um, and... I will not have any puppies from Zelda, but uh, if I would, I would probably sell them to someone who is interested in uh, obedience or freestyle or any other dog sport so that she can work with her brain mm -hmm. or so that the puppies can work yeah. with their brains. <laughs> yeah. Why would you want to breed uh, corgis? I mean, it's an obvious question, but... Well, my answer is a bit cheesy, <laughs> but uh, I would like to give uh, other families the same opportunity that I got oh <laughs> um, and that would be the opportunity to uh, have a dog that is willing to come along and do things together with you mm -hmm. like Nemo, <laughs> like Nemo. <laughs> I think a corgi is the perfect companion for that mm -hmm. anything that you would actively try to improve in the breed in your breeding program like any diseases or traits or in the long run I would uh, love to see a better hip status um, than there is today. As we said, most of the corgis that have got um, hip scanning or x-ray, they got C or D. Mm -hmm. Zelda's got D. Mm -hmm. um, so I would love to work for an improvement. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I think it's a lovely breed to preserve as mm -hmm. much as possible. Uh, there has been so much work put in breeding this dog over the centuries. And I think that is something to be proud of rather than to change. Yeah. But of course, I have my favorite things mm -hmm. and my least favorite things that I will try to bring forward or not. Mm -hmm. um, but most of them are looks because, mm -hmm. as I said, the breed is, in my opinion, very well bred mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. And if you could choose uh, a breed to compare them to, what would be a good breed comparison? <laughs> well, <laughs> I know Zelda for sure. Yeah. She's a German Shepherd. <laughs> Louis, well, that's difficult. I hopefully she's a good representation of a Pembroke. <laughs> but Zelda is a German Shepherd. She, if she could be uh, like a, a police dog, mm. she would be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Much grooming would you say this breed needs? Does their fur tangle easily? Could you talk me through a grooming routine? Uh, well, they shed a lot, <laughs> as we mentioned before. Um, and during their shedding period, uh, I would first give them a bath with a special shedding shampoo to make it all easier. Uh, and then I brush away all their undercoat. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. <laughs> but it doesn't take much. Mm. But um, there is a lot of fur in the house. Okay. <laughs> I can say that much. And is there maybe a fun fact about the reef? Um, well, the Queen of England has oh, more than 30 corgis, mm -hmm. but I guess everyone knows that. So, um, But there is another one. The legend says okay. <laughs> that the corgis would help the fairies and give them rides on their backs. Yeah. Uh, and if you look closely, um, you can see the markings on, of uh, the fairies' saddles on the sides of the corgis. Uh, yeah, on the sides of the corgi. That's super cute. I love that. <laughs> have anything to add? Uh, did I miss to ask anything? Um, I think uh, those are very good questions and that we've been through 
a lot. Mm -hmm. Like we talked about pretty much everything, I think. Um, but if we missed something, um, feel free to ask in the comments yes. or uh, you can send us a DM on Instagram. Yep. Okay, well, then that is all. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and being a part of this video, answering my questions, getting my dream girl, fangirl moments <laughs> to be real. <laughs> so please plug yourself. What, where can we find you on social media? <laughs> well, at first, thank you for doing this video. So I think it's very important for things for people to be able to see different breeds and mm -hmm. to get an insight in how it is owning the breed. So yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> um, but uh, if you want to, you can have a look on our YouTube channel. It's called uh, Lilla Red. Uh, yeah, but it's in Swedish though. <laughs> or you can follow us on Instagram mm -hmm. at Lilla Red. Okay. Well, that is all then. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. <laughs>